one game I picked up, I, I, uh, just being around the heavyweights and being friends with somebody of the magnitude of, like, say, uh, Kanye, one of the things I picked up for him specifically, I use him, is he was on a business call. I'm not going to say who he's talking to, but a huge corporate brand. And he was going in on them. He was going off, ah, because whatever it was they was talking about, because uh, Ye would often let me, like, be around his uh, meetings or take me to his meetings or uh, uh, his conference calls. And I'm in the car with him, and he handling conference calls with some of the biggest uh, corporate, you know, uh, brands in the game, right? And he's like, he was just like losing it. And he was talking about like having um, black uh, board seats and all of this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, you know, and he, and then he like went all off and whatever happened, it was like a screaming match. Then he hung up and I'm sitting in the passenger seat. He looks over at me and says, ain't no room for emotion in business, dog. And I'm looking like, I was confused because I just watched him go off. But he checked himself as, and used himself as an example, like, don't do that shit. I just did pretty much ever. And, and at first, I sat there like, what just happened? And then I thought about it. I said, oh. I said, okay, it kind of sunk in. And basically, I'm just saying in that moment, on that level, it's no room for emotion in business. Like, you got to know how to separate the two. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that with friends. I mean, when you get in there and you're dealing with these people, hey, man, they not your friends. They not... They're trying, to, they're trying to give and get, you know. They'll give a little something to get a little something. And mostly they're giving a little something to get a lot just to keep it, keep it 100. And uh, one of the other things, so that was, that was like something I learned, like, because I, I, I have found myself in the past getting real emotional in my business, you know. I'm going to be, I'm going to let me be honest, you know. I, uh, oh, I started, you know, and it's like, wait a minute, I'm throwing a fit or, 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 or a little tantrum. That don't got nothing to do with the business. That's me just like kind of going off. Let me calm down and keep my head in the game. And that way, that's what made Jordan and all those guys great. They can keep their head in the game. Even if you lose and keep your head in the game, you can actually come back, you know. No emotion. No emotion in business. There's no emotion in. And one of the things I learned, um, I had it was when we were recording the uh, the Blueprint Two, uh, and I was in the studio right right next to Ye, and Jay was like, so Ye had two verses for. Uh, remember the song "Point Out the Bounce" on there. He's on that song. Well, uh, me, him, and Cootie, we in the studio. Now, I live with Kanye at this time, and I'm listening to him kick these verses every day, and he keep telling me why he messing with this beat. Like, man, I want Jay to hear these verses. I want to get on the album. I want to get on the album. But every time we get in the studio with him, this is at this point, Ye was still, like, you know, real, like, I'm not going to really say much. And he saw us talking. We in the studio, and he kind of mumbling his verse to and I'm and I'm like, yeah, go on say it. Like Jay is like right here. I'm like, go on say it. First, this is I know this is a I had never heard this term until this day. That term, uh, closed mouth don't get fed. So I learned that this day. Uh, yeah, he was like, he's like, what's your man talking about, Kanye? And he was like, well, no, nah, you know I, you know I, I wrote a, you know, I wrote a verse. Actually, I wrote two for this because you know, you know, I thought this song was dope and I wanted to be on it. He said, let me hear it. And Ye kicks the verse, you know. That's that. Uh, that's that one neighborhood. Come here, rock star, billboard, hot star. That joint. That's that verse. And um, Ye kicked the verse, and Jay said, "Let me hear the other one." He he was just like this. And him or Ye didn't write their rhymes down at the time, you know. Ye jot stuff down a little now, but at that time he was like on some, uh, you know, some biggie. They just write in their head, and I was tripped out to see them do that too, because I seen both of them do it, and it was freaky. But anyway, because I never didn't, I always wrote, so that was real freaky to see that. But anyway. So Jay, Jay was like, listen to that first verse. He said, kick the second verse. Jay kicked the second verse. He said, okay, give me the first part of the second verse. Kick that first and the second part of the second verse and put that with it last. And again, because they don't write, Jay just like edited it in his head and said the verse, like the one half of this one, one half of the. Jay said, that's it. I like it. You can be on the song. Closed mouth don't get fed, Kanye. And I was like. At first, I'm like, what did he just say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, it, and again, I had to let it resonate. And I was like, man, when you, basically, this is one of these cool things I say. Man, seize the moment. You know, when you're in these positions with these people, I ain't saying be a bugaboo, but you got to, it's just fine balance. I'm a Libra. Everything is about balance for me. It's just fine balance and knowing when, because you can, you, can, you, can, you can be a little too, too, mm -mm, and be irritating. And they want you to lead a session. Like, I remember Common complimented me and said, Gree, you can sit in any of my sessions. You know how to be in the studio. That's why I got a great relationship with him to this day, I believe, because he was like, you know how to be in the studio. Meaning, like, 
I, I'll, I'll chime in when just necessary or when I really got something to say, but I'm not going to overly give my opinion and, you know, mess up your flow and, and, and you know, get in the way and think I'm, I know too much. And now, now I'm being kind of like, I'm irritating the moment. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, I learned something from that day when he told, you know, I learned like seize the moment, but it was, it was cool enough to where Ye wasn't coming off thirsty. He just kind of caught us in our own little thing. And he like, what's going on? And it turned into a moment. Yeah, he ended up on that song. That was one of the jump shots to help get us to like the college dropout. You know, it was a that was a beautiful time. We had so much fun getting to the college dropout. But yeah, what I what I may have learned or picked up from my guy Rosh, aka Common, is the he's like the alter. He 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 learned or he and uh, he has a skill set where he maintains regardless of how successful he is he knows how to be really regular I, I i love that about him and i always said man if i ever made it to his level of success because rosh had his had his time you know and i when i say had it's not over he's still having his time but i'm just saying you know but he maintained being a regular guy and i like to pride myself with being a regular guy i don't want to be so regular that i'm just you know the homie but at the same time i want you to recognize me for my art on my creativity, but common what I what I what I can say I learned from him was how to navigate and be like a rap superstar, but just still be the, the everyday homie. Cause Rosh, like somehow again, me and this Libra thing, always searching for balance. Somehow he he has done such a great job with his career, being just a very approachable, real dude, but still like oh my God, that's common with. That the, the common damn near has a, a what do you call it an E got damn near Emmy Grammy Oscar I think he's missing the Tony, right? I think that's the only thing he's missing is a Tony, you know, as a Tony Award. So, but yeah, just to, may, being regular, not never lose. Common has never lost himself. He still sound like he in Chicago when you talk to him. He just sound like a Chicago guy. He never lost what made him, you know, Rashid from '87. You know what I mean? And I I, I, I honor that, and you know I. You know what I mean? So, 